decision statements are used to decide the next statement to be executed. The decision could be based on a value entered by the user. Decision statements are used to decide the path to be taken by a program. C allows us to check for conditions. If a condition is true, then one statement is executed, otherwise another. A login form is an example of a decision point. The correctness of user and password is the condition here. If they are correct the user is shown some page. But if that condition fails, the user is shown something else. Many types of decision statements are available in C. In this chapter we shall be learning about if statement. We have stored 9 in X. This keyword is used to make a decision statement. It is used to test for a condition. The condition is written inside round brackets. It is also called the condition expression. Here the condition is about the value of x. These braces contain the body of the if statement. If the condition is true, then the statements in this body are executed. Now I turn to the question of else. What should be done if the condition fails? How to specify the statements for that case? It can be done with a keyword called else. This specifies the statements to execute when condition is false. This is the if part of the statement. And this is the else part. The code in this part executes when the condition is false. This statement will not execute because the above condition is false. and if can exist without an else. But an else cannot exist without a matching if. It is possible to make a ladder of these statements. This ladder is also called a nested if statement. If the first condition fails then the else part executes. And here, another condition is tested to decide the flow. This chart can help you understand the nesting. It shows that it is possible to test more and more conditions. 
and that is why programming languages are so fascinating. We have to check whether the last digit of a number is divisible by 7 or not. We will have to use a decision statement in this program. We have to obtain the last digit first. The last digit is equal to the remainder obtained by dividing the number by 10. If a number is divisible by 7, then the remainder after division by 7 will be 0. For example, 14 divided by 7 leaves the remainder 0. We can construct an if statement like this. If 0 compares equal to y modulus 7, This double equal sign is for comparison. A single equal sign is for assignment. When we use two equal sign, then it is a comparison. This is how we can write our condition in an if statement. And this is the else part of our statement. We have to obtain two numbers from the user. Then we have to find the greater of them. This program too is based on decision statements. First of all we obtain both the numbers from the user. The numbers are stored in two variables. This statement is easy to understand. We are checking whether m is greater. Next, we'll need a nested if statement for testing these two cases. This is for the case when n is greater. And, this is the else part of our nested statement.